what are you doing with the power of rope? You're using OPM. I know you think OPM is other people's money. No, it's not. It's other people's marketing, other people's manufacturing, other people's mind power. Also, you learn off other people's mistakes, other people's mentors. Jay Abraham, one of my mentors, have always said that OPM should not be other people's money. It should be other people's mind power, other people's manufacturing, other people's marketing. You know, when I first got more than $15,000 t-shirts, I remember going over and saying, all right, the store, they didn't want to give me, I didn't have the money. They didn't want to give me the money straight up because I would have bought a brand new one day. You know what I mean? If you would have given me $15,000 at that time. Always have a loving mother who, uh, <clears throat> taught me almost everything I know and was a mentor and a great woman. And she came back to me and said, you know, you need OPM. And I said, what's OPM? She said, not other people's money. It could be other people's manufacturing, mind power, manpower, mentors. You need a strategic partner. And she takes an ad in the newspaper. And the ad in the newspaper says, million dollars in orders need financing. Samsung Textile Division called and said, we want to manufacture and distribute your clothes. Then I needed to let the world know that I had the product. And what was my version of influencers at that time? It was rappers, it was the cool kids in the community. So I had to get it onto them. That would then spawn the growth or the identification of the brand. L was an influencer and a mentor. Right. And he and he uh, he lived the product. He really believed in our mission and he would have done That's it dope. no matter what because he, he felt that the mission needed to be heard. And he was like, I'm open. You see, I had built influence with yeah. him way prior to ever really approaching him. Mm -hmm. And that's what people can do today. There's three parts to negotiate. Sometimes you have to plant seeds. That's the, that's the first part, yeah. influence. I always say that look at, the, look at music artists. Music artists have to become popular in their town first before they go out to be a national or global hit. They should, they should really ask, first of all, how to do it with zero capital, number one what are the pitfalls that they're going to face and what are the challenges and what what is going to what is it going to take to be an entrepreneur do they really want to be an entrepreneur when i started fubu i had to physically get up in people's face and show them a shirt and try to sell them a shirt now these are total strangers i could only judge if i had a viable product if that stranger would buy the shirt influence is the first part and then the actual negotiation, and then how do you get paper together forever Close after that? Um, but you know, I learned I learned about customer service. I learned about finding mentors, and I learned that about there was a bigger world out there because I would speak to these people who were coming back from the city, and even though we lived in a lower class neighborhood, they were brilliant people. Some of them were accountants and attorneys and uh, teachers and something like that. And I would learn from them, and I would I would get another bunch of mentors around me. I look at every theory and every industry, and I go. The most important thing to context. When I ran out of my money the first time, when I blew a lot of money, it wasn't money that made my, uh, you know, that got me back on my horse and made a lot of money. It was my contacts. It really starts with creating influence first mm -hmm. in whatever relationship it is. Use all the assets around and continually use them, you know, whether it's the editors, whereas everything else. That's my advice to you. Um, um, in regards to how you go about and seeing this idea come to fruition and then having what we call a proof of concept. So you know, I always say you should never stop trying to learn new things. So I hope you learned something new from that video. Now, if you're ready to level up and hear from business experts every week, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you soon.